In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And ye shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. Ye shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You have spoken the truth. For there is one God, and there is no other but he. And to love him with all the heart, with all understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbour as oneself is more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. But after that no one dared to question him. In this Gospel reading from St. Mark today, we have a little subheading to it. The Greatest Commandment. Jesus taught us which is the greatest commandment. He said, first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, hear, O Israel, hear, people, hear, O people, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. We have one God only. We have three divine persons in the Blessed Trinity. We have the Father. We have the Son. And we have the Holy Spirit. But the most difficult part about this Trinity is there are only one God. There are three distinct persons in this one God. We need faith to believe. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, 
with all your mind and with all your strength. It is impossible. If we stay, we love the Lord our God and still say we love other things around us. For example, money, power. We cannot. We cannot say we love those things as well as God. We cannot do that. God takes priority in all things. All things. Everything else comes second and third place. It even doesn't matter how many times. And then, of course, he says the second, like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. To love God with everything and to love your neighbour as you love yourself. And by this commandment, by loving our neighbour as ourselves, we show the teachings of Jesus Christ. We show the love of God. For all that which is around us, our neighbours, all have been created by God. We must love God's creation too. I'm not just talking about people. The whole of creation. God made for us. We must take care of it. Sadly, this is so often neglected. The scribe was, I guess you could say, a little bit shocked. Because he said to Jesus, Well said, teacher. You have spoken the truth. For there is one God, and there is no other but He. And to love it with all the heart, with all understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength. And to love one's neighbour as oneself is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And I guess you could say at the very last verse. Now when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Because of what he believed, what this scribe believe, is so close to the kingdom of God. It is the kingdom of God. So be careful. Keep remembering those words, those commandments. This particular passage of scripture. Hear, O Israel, the 
Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. That is the first commandment. It is first of all. All other commandments follow. They're all linked in. So we must put God first in all things before we do anything else. God comes first. Learn about God, understand about Him through Jesus Christ. Once we know Jesus Christ, listen to His teachings. We become closer to God the Father. We know Him. We become closer to the Kingdom of God. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.